Hi folks, this is Sarion for CVNR. Uh, today we are going to do a, a proper experiment, if you will, uh, to understand uh, what happens if you stretch an uh, elastic structure. Right? Uh, I don't have, uh, uh, mostly in physiotherapy, we try to stretch uh, elastic uh, structure and probably a slightly non-elastic structure if you will like ligaments, tendons and things like that, right? So in this, in this video, I don't have a cadaver or something like that to, uh, to do an experiment on cadavers. Um, but I have two things. One is I have a traction machine which we usually use to uh, stretch, distract, whatever it is. And then I have a theraband, right? Uh, or a resistance band if, uh, if I have to use the correct nomenclature. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to uh, first measure the length of the, the whole of this uh, Theraband, right? Uh, I'm going to measure with the uh, inch tape. Then I'm going to uh, put the whole thing in the. Uh, I'm going to sort of attach or anchor this uh, theraband on the on the uh, traction couch, and then I'm going to attach the or put, say, for example, 30 kilograms of weight on the uh, traction machine and we are going to run it for 15 minutes and then at the end of it again I'm going to remove this and we are going to measure the length of the theraband again right so that is the experiment today the idea is we will see whether this is stretched or uh, at least how far it is stretched now again I'm not going to use a uh, uh, continuous traction if you will because that is not what is commonly done we are going to do a, a sort of an intermittent traction probably in the later experiments we will try to do a, a continuous traction right okay. the first step in our experiment is to measure the length of uh, this so what I have done is I have sort of hanged it uh, from the bottom to here and then drew a line right this is the line we have drawn and then <clears throat> I have used a measuring tape, right, uh, to measure from down below up to uh, here, right, from the bottom to the top. And we have done the measurement, and the measurement is 189.5, right, that is the initial measurement. So the second step what we have done is we have uh, tied one end of the teraband here right uh, to anchor it here the other one to the um, uh, traction machine right and we have put uh, 15 minutes and we have um, uh, the this is your whole time that is 20 and your rest time is 5 and we have 40 kilograms as the weight right so in the next 15 minutes you are going to run this machine and we will see uh, what happens uh, uh, after uh, 15 minutes right uh, we will again remeasure it and see what is happening So 15 minutes is over and um, very excited to see uh, what is happening. We will again uh, measure it there and uh, we will see what is the result of it, right? Right, so as a last step, what I'm going to do is again, uh, uh, keep it in this the position what we have done earlier and then, uh, right, and then, draw a line and then you can see there's a sort of a visible difference between uh, this is before and after right so <clears throat> we'll try to measure it uh, how much is that remember there will be some error in my measurements but it looks around uh, four right i can see it's around uh, Oh, four centimeters is the 
uh, difference uh, between um, uh, before the traction and <laughs> after the traction, if you will. Right? <clears throat> now, there are two things we want to remember uh, in this because I'm not going to tell you, uh, I'm not going to speculate what is the, uh, what does it mean in terms of uh, uh, tractioning your uh, patient. But I'm just going to give you some questions, if you will. Right? Remember, this is uh, uh, elastic structure, right? And there is no question about it. And it's a really tough, uh, uh, this is a really uh, tough Tara band. There is no question. This is the, uh, I mean, uh, resistance band. This is the hardest I could uh, find out, right? There is no uh, question about it, right? So that was uh, immediate after uh, the traction. Now it's around five minutes after uh, we have taken the uh, Tara band out of the uh, traction machine, right? Again, uh, we are trying to measure, and we will see. Again, you can see it's nearer to the. This is this is the five-minute mark, right? After five minutes, it is sort of come down, and then uh, we will again measure it and see what's happening. You can see. So what happened is this is after 20 minutes. You can see where it is now it's around just one centimeter this is 20 minutes and just come back to one centimeter <laughs> this is what I'm right? so what does the experiment uh, taught us the one thing you want to remember is uh, the uh, tensile force or the Young's modulus of this is nowhere near to our uh, muscles and ligaments Right, so that is one thing for you to remember very clearly before extrapolating whatever uh, you want to from this experiment. Number two is there is a difference between this. This is a non-living structure and uh, living structure. As I told you earlier, I don't have a cadaver to perform this e experiment. Even if I do it in a cadaver, um, the brain is not there in the cadaver, right? So we don't know how the brain will react to all these things how far it will stop the, uh, the traction or the stretching to uh, change or resist change if you will right we have no idea you also want to remember that when you are trying to uh, understand anything the third thing is as you can see even after five minutes it's trying to come back to its uh, original position that is at the, to its equilibrium if you will right that is for a non-living thing it is trying to come back to its equilibrium remember what will happen to a living biological thing it will want to come back to its equilibrium it doesn't want to get stretched and uh, you can't become taller after uh, giving a traction or something like that right so it will not allow you uh, that simply to uh, go beyond uh, a particular, or it won't come back to its uh, equilibrium also, right? Uh, the last thing you want to remember uh, before understanding this, even if we assume that this to be a muscle, right? Even if we assume that this is the, uh, <clears throat> uh, the tensile force and the Young's modulus of this, is similar to our muscle right which it is not but even if you assume if you take your back right there are four layers of muscles and then you have ligaments and all sorts of connective tissue right so it is no way near to that even then we have hardly had four centimeters after pulling it for such a long time with 40 40 kilograms right and then it again went back to <laughs> three centimeters. And as I said earlier, we will see what happens after uh, one day. I will see what happens to this, and I will post it on the um, uh, on the comment section. Right. Uh, thank you for watching our video. We, if you want to see more videos like this, which are sort of weird, uh, sub subscribe to our channel.